Dear America, thank you for voting me the winner of America's Got Talent. Once again, you have showed the same unerring wisdom and discernment that you exercise in all manners of mob rule, including the Los Angeles race riots, the election of George Bush, and that time only three people showed up for my surprise party. And it ended up being a double surprise because it was like, surprise, nobody likes you. But now that I am a powerful Hollywood player, those three people will be given their own sitcom called Mom, Grandmom, and Mr. Whiskers. In addition to thanking America, I would also like to thank my hometown of Philadelphia. Even though Philadelphia is a part of America and therefore really doesn't need to be thanked separately since I already thanked it. If you ordered the salad bar and then said, I'd like some tomatoes too, the waitress would say, that's included in the salad bar. And then she'd roll her eyes, which you'd use as justification for not tipping. Of course, you wouldn't need any tomatoes anyways once you discovered that the salad bar also included pudding. Regardless, I, Doogie Horner, grand prize first place winner of the national television show America's Got Talent, will thank Philadelphia anyways even though I will never go back there, ever again. <laughs> Not even if you gave me a million dollars, especially since I already have a million dollars, which I got as part of the grand prize for winning America's Got Duty. <laughs> By the way, thanks for changing the name of the show. <laughs> what was the name of the city I used to live in before I was on television? Oh, that's right, who gives a shit? <laughs> I will never again walk that worthless city's dirty streets, sniff its redolent cheesesteak landfills, or be rudely shoved by its ham-faced bus drivers who refuse to accept my hilarious jokes in the place of tokens. I, never, I will never again stand in front of surly drunk audiences in Russian-Ukrainian benevolent associations as I slowly sweat through my suit and fantasize aloud about winning national talent competitions because I will be busy sharing a Sunday with Chris Rock as he begs me for advice. Because I was on television, that magic box which makes everyone who appears on it special and valuable, elevating them irrevocably from the nameless hordes of hungry ghosts who have never appeared within its glowing rectangle. Also, please keep your eyes peeled for my new sitcom, Doogie Horner, MD. Thank you and good night.